Wigan. Wigan watch. 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 Hello, welcome to Wigan watch. I'm out and about again because the weather's nice, and I'm in the graveyard. Uh, more specifically, the one in Ince in Makerfield to look at two buildings that are in desperate need of our help. But first, a building that sadly is beyond anyone's help now. Let's have a look at the demolition of the galleries. So it's Saturday morning and we've gone through big machinery to a handheld pummeler, for want of a better description, which is uh, really good. So inside, taking down the, uh, I don't know what that is, I assume it's a duct. Oh no, it's a glass, isn't it? Glass area. Bear in mind this is a Saturday. It's quite impressive. Well, we're at the side now and you can see that they've took the glass off the canopy which is over where the uh, escalators were in market gates so no doubt that metal will be coming down later on today and this is the bit where they're definitely sorting out the uh, the metal from the concrete there's a lot of metal in the concrete to be fair pretty strong building and you can also see there an old flight of stairs through that gap This is looking through where the old doors used to be. You can pretty much see all the way through now. Zoom in. See daylight there. Daylight there as well. So Makinson's Arcade, Pound Bakery. And next to that the scaffolding's got up uh, because all this building will be coming down very soon indeed. On this side, not making us okay, don't panic. Is that a toilet seat? That's not a toilet seat, is it? That is a toilet seat. That's bad. <laughs> oh dear me. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, completely caught me off guard so nothing's happening on this side it's still Saturday according to the clock it's quarter to twelve but it's more like quarter past twelve uh, but obviously no works are going on here today so we'll come back on Monday and see what they're gonna do then so we're back in the uh, storeroom I've not been here for a little while um, mainly because I needed a break from it all and I need to sort the stuff out in the shop that we already had so, but we're back and uh oh my god you know it looks like it looks like um if i took the middle out i could do it as if i was um luke skywalker on the death star going over like that it'd be <laughs> use the force luke well i'm not i'm not called luke and i'm not going to use the force i'm going to use the carrier bags that i brought so uh, the next few days, I'm just going to be bagging this up and then taking it to the uh, the shop and the new storage area, which I'll show you on a later video. So I've packed these up, ready to go. And to get properly sorted out, and you're thinking, wow, that's a lot there. That's, you've done well there, packing all that lot. Yeah. Um, it's hardly made any difference to this, though. It's, it's uh, yeah. Yeah, DVDs, gotta love them. But they are better, let's be honest. These are better than uh, like Netflix or whatever because these are the original versions. They're unedited, unredacted. You don't need to pay a subscription fee. They start from like 45p each. Um, I mean, you know, this is the way forward. Streaming services, nah, not so much. Well, let someone decide in America what you can watch when you could have. A whole ream of DVDs like this in your house. Maybe not this many. 
and you can watch whatever you want, whenever you want. Right, here they are working really hard. Um, on a Sunday, it's about quarter past 12. It's really opening up. They're definitely taking the pillars down, and now they're taking down the um, girders between the pillars as well, so it's definitely opening up now. It's going to be uh, quite impressive. It's done, but he's using, uh, definitely using fire there. Set that off. So they're, yeah, they're definitely taking down the uh, beams and then they're getting crushed here. So they'll be brought here whole, crushed. The metal will be took out, put into the uh, skip over there to be recycled. Concrete will be crushed and probably shoved down in the uh, bottom of the uh, car park, I would have thought. And that water's spraying quite nicely as well. Uh, it's quite relaxing in this heat. I don't know that anything else is going on on site though. I think they're only working at the moment on this part on a Sunday. So this is Ellen Street. You've probably never heard of Ellen Street. I've never really heard of Ellen Street either. I did a vlog here a while ago. It's um, pretty much opposite the uh, the courts, which is there. Uh, so it's that little building there near the river. Uh, being knocked down, or well, planning permission for it to be knocked down for apartments and a six-storey building with parking, etc. Let's have a look at the uh, letter, shall we? I won't just noticed it. Uh, the depot on Ellen Street, erection of six-storey building comprising of 30 flats and uh, is that covered car park? Yeah, covered car parking, uh, area together with associated landscaping and additional outdoor parking area following demolition of existing building. And uh, that is the building that they want to knock down. Now, let's be honest, it's not the prettiest building in the world, but the area, I mean, it's right next to a really busy road. Well, they wouldn't know it at the moment, but to be fair, it is uh, off four on a Sunday. But uh, yeah, this building looks like, if planning permission is granted, will be uh, disappearing very soon indeed, because uh, it's gonna be flats. And if they've got decent windows in them, I can't imagine it's quite a decent place to have flats. Anyway, let's move on. It's always a shame to see buildings like this, which is the uh, former Rock Hotel, completely derelict again, could be turned into apartments in quite a nice area. Admit it, it's on a busy road. Now we're not far away from the Rock Hotel and we've got this area here, which obviously used to be something, although I'm not sure what it used to be, but there's kind of remnants of bits like lying around. But you've also got this walled area here which again would be perfect for some kind of uh, housing or something similar to go on it doesn't seem to be doing anything else at the moment and again it's in a nice area look you've even got coronation street style cobbles what more do you want okay we've got this muriel of uh, roman times vikings as well i don't know on Parliament Street. So I'm here at Ince in Makerfield Cemetery, which is not somewhere I normally come, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but I've just spied this, which I think is rather uh, fitting and makes you remember where Wiggins come from. To the memory of the men and boys who were killed by the explosions at the Moss Pits Ince on the 6th and 20th of September, 1871. We forget sometimes uh, our history and heritage. A lot of it has gone, a lot of the mines, obviously all the mines have gone, uh, but we mustn't forget those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. I'll be honest though, that's not why I'm here. This is why I'm here. This rather sorry looking building. Um, I mean, dreadfully, dreadfully sorry looking building. And that one over there as well. So let's have a little look at them without me being in the way. So we've got doves nesting in the eaves. And this is obviously the uh, archway that was into the chapel, which is in a very, very sorry state indeed. Now this building apparently was designed by the architect who designed the uh, town hall in Manchester, which is currently undergoing a multi-million pound restoration. And you'll have seen it if you watch my uh, bus videos because I often 
go past there on the V1. Uh, you can see there as well there's a gap in the roof. Uh, the top of the uh, roof has gone. So look around the other sides. So this is it from the back quarter. Looks like it may have had a bell up there at one point. Some chapels do, but all boarded up. The story goes though that money was given, 100 grand, to fix this building or at least make it safe. And it was a while ago and absolutely nothing's happened. And there's actually been a thing in the paper this week that said that uh, what they want to do is raise more money. And the council is saying that they want uh, an appeal or a private help to actually pay the outstanding amounts. But if we wait much longer, there's going to be nothing left. And of course, it's not just one building. It's two buildings. Got this one as well, which if anything is slightly grander as it's got this uh, bit at the back, um, which kind of arches out of the back wall. So we can see inside this one, just very dark obviously because all the windows are boarded up um, but again the architecture is quite splendid for a small building like this it's actually really really nice what's the front like yeah So two chapels had a grant of 100 grand. I've no idea where the grant money's gone. I assume it's still in a bank account waiting to be used to save these two. But um, they need more money. But surely to God it would be worth spending that 100 grand just to make these watertight again. And to maybe chop these trees off it because these trees are not going to be helping with the uh, building's structure. And look the uh, the roof there. It's got a big hole in it. Looks like they put some mesh over it at some point. And I think that's what the actual tree's climbing on. Which would be ironic, wouldn't it? You can see the amount of detail that's on this. It's fantastic. And it needs to be saved. We don't want this to fall into the ground like many other buildings in Wigan are doing because they're not being looked after. So if they need our support, let's, uh, let's do what we can, shall we? And try and save these for future generations and also past generations as well. So I was walking back along the canal. I've come across these. And I thought they were daffodils and I thought these are, these are blooming late, literally. Uh, but no, I'm not an expert on these things, but they look a little bit like orchids. Don't think they are, but that's what they look like. Right, I'm in Porter's Wood. And I'm actually stood on a bridge going over a... I won't say it's a river, it's more of a stream. And last time I was here, it was absolutely flowing. Not so much now. Which makes me worry, the amount of rain that we've had in the last 12 months, because let's be honest, last summer was a bit damp to say the least, uh, but certainly what we've had this year. Are they going to bring in those pipe bands? <sighs> I mean, yeah, as well as charging us 10 billion to fix their uh, water network as well. But anyway, that's on the rants that I did, three rants, if you want to have a look at that. Anyway, yeah, it's beautiful though. Last time I was here, like I say, it was winter and it was snowy. But now it's spring and it's lovely. Technically, summer. So on a quite a sombre note, we're going to end uh, this Wigan Watch. Don't forget to do all the usual. Like, share and subscribe. And uh, I will see you again next time. At least we forget. Wigan. Wigan, Wigan Watch. 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 Wigan, 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 Wigan Watch. Wigan Watch. Wigan Watch. Wigan Watch.